Psalms chapter 104 verse 3 who left the beams of his chambers in the waters who make of the clouds his chariot who walketh upon the wings of the wind I want to start off by giving all praises honor and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Racha HaKwadash Double honor to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom to the elect. The real Hebrew Israelites are you so called blacks, so called Latinos, so called Hispanics, so called Native Americans. People of Negroid and American Indian descent make up the 12 tribes of Israel, as well as the Israelites that may look like the other nations. Okay. The speckled bird. You know, the Israelites that are scattered abroad among the heathen, and that may even look like them. But they are the spirits of Israelites. If you're able to receive this truth, you are a Hebrew Israelite also, no matter what you look like. Okay? Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Getting right into it. Our salvation is nearer than we believe. Our salvation, the salvation of Israel, is nearer than we believe okay now recently there was a chariot a so-called ufo photographed or captured right above the caspian sea so we're in a very great time we're living in the greatest time in human history okay your redemption draw of not. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of this video that inspired this lesson. And I pray and hope this is inspiring and motivating. This is exhorting you. All right. Uplifting you to stay in the truth. Okay. Because nothing compares to that, that uh, salvation. Nothing compares to that salvation that's coming. All right. I don't care what it is in this world. Nothing compares to your salvation. Remember, scriptures say, Who make of the clouds his chariot? Now I'm going to go to this video really quick. Now this is put up by Florida Marquis. Okay. Now the video is entitled, Massive Cloaked Alien Warship. Now we know that aliens do not fly these ships. Holy angels pilot these ships. Holy angels, not aliens. Okay, now they're foreign to this world, but these are not aliens. These are sons of God. These are angels. All right? Right hand angels that pilot these ships. But it says massive cloaked alien warship hovering over Caspian Sea accidentally captured by Hyres or high res satellite okay this is put up in June okay June 30th 2022 which there are so called UFO sightings everywhere now these strange sightings they're everywhere now because we're in the time of Israel being delivered the elect of our people now I'm going to play this video. I pray and hope this is edifying. All right? And uplifting you. You should be excited when you see this, okay? Trying to rewrite this, but here's the big news of the day. This is an image that was taken from a satellite over the Caspian Sea. No other clouds for hundreds of miles, but this perfectly shaped cloud appears and it's very large and it's also three dimensional it's not just flat it has kind of a almost a cone a dome shape to it and they try to dismiss this as just some kind of weather anomaly but when you look at this closely anybody who is familiar with the stargate series will know exactly what you're looking at there were these craft and i know stargate was just a series but there were a great many things that occurred and were revealed in that series that ended up coming true in real life. 
There was a craft that they referred to as an al kesh Remember, the whole point is that this so-called cloud that was filmed or uh, or photographed right above the Caspian Sea is not an actual cloud. This has to be a chariot. All right. The man speaking in the video even made the point that this so-called cloud is three-dimensional. It's not flat. Now we read in the Psalms, the Heavenly Father make of the cloud his chariot, which means that these so-called UFOs, these these spacecrafts, the, these ships, have the technology of being able to cloak themselves and appear as clouds, but they're not actual clouds. You know, even dealing with warfare, you have something that's called camouflage. Okay? You're able to blend in with your surroundings. Well, ultimately, you know, mankind got that concept from the Heavenly Father. Okay? He makes the cloud his chariot. He walks upon the wings of the wind. Who else can do that? All right? The Heavenly Father's far out, man. Okay? And these chariots are everywhere, you know? They're here for our protection. They're, they're here on missions, you know? These are the eyes of the Lord. These are the angels. They're here to stir up that third woe, World War Three. okay? Which is why that ship may be over the Caspian Sea. World War Three is being orchestrated, okay? The third woe. And also, our salvation is nearer than we believe. It is nearer than we believe. Now, let's close out. With this psalm right here, okay? Psalms chapter 68. Psalms chapter 68 and um, 33. To him that rideth upon the heavens of heavens which were of old, because those so called UFOs, those chariots, they were here before the earth was created. You know, Yahweh shine the angels. Lo, he doth send out his voice, and that a mighty voice. Right. You know, I hate them laser beams. You know, hey, the Lord, he going to speak to you in his wrath. Ascribe you strength unto our God, unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds, in the chariots. I pray and hope this is edifying. Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elder apostles and elder bishops, great millstone, GMS. Peace and blessing to the elected Israel. Shalom. Kwame Asherah. Shalom.